Austin Peters was the first boy to call me a nigger. Ah. And my name died that day. Hoisted into the chandelier of Austin's mouth until Xavier Smith was a rotting cavity in his canines, only the gold of a colonial circuit cap. I consider my name's death each night. How quickly it dies when the white boys inherit their hunger. How my name becomes a naked and sharp death carving out the back of my throat. I bury my name beneath the pearls of Corona Del Mar, among the jagged obsidian. This salt log body laid along the coast, absent a casket in the depths of Corona's gritted arms. Most of my anatomy will capsize in the Pacific, beneath the same ties that washed nigger over my father when he was still in the Navy. I'm used to swimming uncharted anyways. My bones and marrow belong to dinner. Gorge from Austin Peters licked plate. Saliva dripping from his canines. Xavier Smith strewn about teeth, biting his tongue, fantasizing the crimson is mine. And my skin belongs to his son, brown and untilled as his grandfather's fields. I gift his son the skin his father lusted. And I say gift because I still wish him happiness. For when his brown son wakes every morning, ungored until he grows into a proper slur for his classmate's tooth. And I wish him grandsons. All stretching my skin wide, rich vineyards atop their horizons and names that leave their grandfather's tongue beached and ruin the grooves of his mouth for the name of my bones. The marrow is the best part, my grandma says. Crack, this marrow tastes like none of my cousins. When he kisses his fingers clean, the jelly red tastes bland, like no one sees in me. Crack, the spice cabinet fell off the plane. Me, a boy and recipe with no directions. Crack, just scraps left on a stranger's plate until every tongue except my family's had a taste. Woo! 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 Woo!